So welcome back to my channel. So today's recipe, I'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious chocolate cake with Nutella frosting. And it is a beginner friendly cake. So if you're like me, you've just started baking, then this recipe might be for you. It tastes amazing. I put a few tweaks here and there just to kind of put my own spin in it. It came out and it's so, so simple. So beforehand, I wanted to make sure that I had everything on hand with me. So I did an online shop. I use a website called Top Cashback, and basically they give you money back. But I'm gonna go into detail of that in a bit. I just purchased all my baking equipment just to make sure that I have everything on hand so I am prepared. I got myself a Logic Stand and Hand Mixer. I also got myself cake tins because I didn't realize that I didn't have any cake tins. The thing I like about this one is like a three tier cake tin. This is what it looks like, so you're gonna see in the video. And um, my fave, a scale. So I can actually measure all the ingredients, which I did in the video. So I use Top Cashback. So Top Cashback is basically a website where you sign up to and it has a list of all the retailers. They have ASOS, eBay, all the major retailers are on there. So each retailer, they have a list of all the percentages they can give you back and you can just see and tally it up. So if you're wondering like, what is cashback? Cashback is basically an incentive retailers give to you for shopping with them. And so whenever you shop on them, you get like a percentage of the money that you spent back. And it's a really good incentive. And especially if you want to do a big shop. So I knew I wanted to get all my baking equipment. And I thought, you know, why not use top cash back? And I actually made 18 pounds back. So three pounds on what I spent, because I spent over 60 pounds, but also 15 pounds from signing up. So they give new members a 15 pound bonus. So when you spend 15 pounds and over, on whatever retailer you want, you get 15 pounds back. It's a really, really good website to use if you want to like shop big or small I did it for like a big shop and even though it might seem like a small amount so even though I got like three pounds plus the 15 pounds I got when I signed up it actually adds up because you can then use it on another shop so I'm actually saving up for a KitchenAid even though I've got my logic mixer and yes I am hoping to get that within the next few weeks or months or spend it on some makeup or clothes <laughs> I'm going to leave all the details in the description bar below so you guys should check it out it's a really really good website and I've been using it and I'm going to go on ASOS into a shop because I'm in Nigeria and they ship to Nigeria so it's worth checking out and the thing I love about it is that all the retailers are on there so anything for fashion homeware lifestyle all on there so I think it just appeals to like everyone so it's definitely worth checking out so yeah, my loves, I know you guys probably think Kezia, let's get on with it. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I made this chocolate cake. Get cooking, so to start off with, I'm going to preheat my oven. And I also have here my ingredients, I have my butter, I also have here some eggs, and then I have my cocoa powder and Milo. Milo is like a hot chocolate brand here, you guys will see, it's so good, so I decided to mix it into the cake. I also have some bacon powder, some salt, and some instant coffee granule. So here I have my Logic Stand Mixer. It's a stand and hand mixer, so it can be detachable. So I'm just setting it up, and in goes in my butter, which is nice and softened. I let it get down to room temperature before I started. And then I just added in a bit of the sugar. So I gave that a good whisk, adding all the ingredients bit by bit. Now in goes the flour, and then the bacon powder. I added in the salt and of course the cocoa powder and Milo mix and in goes in the eggs as well so I'm doing this bit by bit I'm going to give it a whisk and then when it gets the right consistency I add the remainder of my eggs and this is what it should look like this is my favorite part of baking it's like the whisking and how everything just like literally combines together so in goes in some oil. Now oil is like a really good um, ingredient to add to like make your cake super moist. It's not necessary, but I like it adding it in. And as you guys can see, it's extra silky and smooth and it makes it moist. So if you like to add it, add in about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. It could do about a tablespoon or two and it will make it taste extra moist. 
So here is my cake batter. Oh my God, that looks so good. And I also have here my bacon tin, which I lined with some butter and a bit of cocoa powder at the bottom so the cake doesn't stick. But guys, you can separate this into two different tins to make like a layer cake, but I wanted mine to be all one layer because I'm not that advanced yet. And then I just pop it into the oven to cook for about 28 to 30 minutes at 180 degrees. Now guys, I did something very silly. I opened up the oven at about 20 minutes into it and it did affect the way my cake, my cake slightly dipped, but it didn't like distort anything. So please don't open up the oven until the time is up. So here is the cake, it smelled amazing and i'm going to show you guys exactly what i meant so this is the cake as you guys see there's a slight dip there and that came from opening up the oven before the time is up so please don't do that the thing i liked about it is that it made extra room for this buttercream frosting so yeah let's get started i'm measuring out all my ingredients my butter my ice and sugar and my um, cocoa powder and again, I have here my stand mixer, so I'm just adding my butter. The butter must be room temperature, guys. Some vanilla essence, and I'm giving that a good whisk. In goes my ice and sugar. I'm doing this bit by bit. And then also my cocoa powder. I'm giving that a good, good whisk. And then now, the, my favorite part, the Nutella. Now I'm using about four tablespoons of Nutella and I love that it's nice and rich and creamy. So it really adds a nice velvety essence to the frosting. I also added in some hot water guys, about two tablespoons of hot water. And then now I am just going to decorate, or should I say dress my cake. I got this turntable table from eBay, along with everything, it came in like a bacon pack. So I'm gonna leave all the details down below for you guys to check it out. Again, using top cashback websites. So it's really, really handy if you're like a baker or if you wanna start baking like me. And it's also quite fun. this is the cake i'm just literally cleaning up the sides and yeah that's it my love super super simple and then i'm just going to sprinkle over some chocolate sprinkles you can get this from the baking section of the supermarket and again like i said it's super simple i was really really happy with the way the cake turned out in terms of like the texture the taste and you know this will also make a very cute birthday cake so if you want to make something for somebody you know then this is a good recipe to use so there you have it my loves this is the cake taking it out and there you have it with that extra bit of frosting super moist super delicious